Yeah, well, this is where we left it off last time, and well done all those who spotted that I actually had attached the uh, elevator and horizontal stabiliser upside down. I've corrected that. You should mount it so the, the tabs and everything that doesn't look perfect is on the bottom so you don't see them. So with that, what I've done also on this is I've attached a little sticker to cover up the white part of the spine and also I've sanded those front blocks to give me a, a smoother front here and uh, towards the end there's a sticker that will go over that to make that all red so let's put that aside for the moment because the next stage is we're starting on the top wings and to do the top wings where's that going? to do the top wings we have to start with uh, creating all the spars now the spars are mainly made of the 2mm depth on and the plas a plastic former stuck over it mainly to add strength. Now I've already cut the formers out and they're very thin, the, although the plastic is very thin and they have a score mark, it's really difficult because you've got to fold it down the line here and it's very thin. What I found by using the edge of a needle nose plier like that I can then bend along the line there I can bend there and get this into an L shape and yet you're heading to try and get an L shape so it will go around the uh, depth on and create a strong unit so let's start with P11 which is this can't see that well and sorry D, D, D14 and P11 and this has got to be folded along those lines and then stuck to that now as I say I've already pre-folded these once because it's a struggle I don't really want to do it on camera I'm struggling quite so much Although it's not strong this plastic, at such small sizes it's very difficult to get it to fold neatly. Hence the uh, needle nose plier to get the fold along the fold line. So that's it pretty much folded on a right angle on that. So that's a right angle on that. They do sort of pre-score it so it should fold neatly. But as I say, it's not easy. You should be able to see. I don't know if you can see that. It's now a little L shape. You can just there. So we then take that notch down. And this has got to match. This has got to match onto that and be stuck onto that. And that will make it much stronger. So it's glue time. And I think I'm going to put the glue on the plastic this time round. And I'm going to use the blade just to hold hold that down. Ooh, way too much glue there. Oh well. Just to hold that in place. Let's use a little bit of paper just to wipe away the excess of that, that's too much glue on that end. Okay, it's taking the worst, the excess off that. And we're just going to apply that 
to that and try and center it up. And that gives us that. And that can be put to one side. The next one is D15, which comes off, comes off like this, and you basically slit it down the middle and fold it back to produce basically a four millimeter depth on part. And again, spot of glue just to hold this all together, so we can do this with a bit less, a bit. Bit more finesse than the last time. And I think what I'm going to do here is use the uh, the contact method here. So I'm just going to spread that around a bit, so all the surfaces are covered. It's definitely worth just sort of half slicing it, folding it over, and making sure it's going the way you want before you put the glue on. Right, hopefully that's gone off enough to allow us to fold that together. Yep. Still gonna be a little bit of set in there. So that produces that. And uh, matching up the angle here. Laying it into the L shape. That's what we're going to do next. And I'm going to do what I did before use a little bit of tape just to help hold the angles down so it doesn't move around so much as I'm laying them in. So I'll lay them with the edge that way. That'll be that way into that one. That'll be that way into that one. A little bit of blue tape just on the edges of these, just to help hold them down. It will make gluing easier. It will make fitting the, uh, the foam into it easier. So they're laid in, so they're not going to go anywhere. It's glue time. Let's see if I can do this a bit more finesse than last time. Probably not. Because the plane isn't right until it's got at least a set of wings on. This is an odd building, as so much as we we're going to we're building the top pair of wings here. But then we're going to finish virtually the whole plane and then the bottom wings almost come as an afterthought. I've got the circle there and I've got the spin out there. So we've got the wedge going out there and that bit there. And I'm just going to push that and offer that up into that. Excess, but we can just wipe that excess off. I just made the sin of putting glue on my cutting board. We all do it. Oh, well, and this one, I can't remember which end, that's the uh, wedge end, that's correct. That's a wedge end on that end. See their mirror images of each other, these. I don't know how these uh, depth how this depth on is cut. 
It's probably laser cut, but I don't not seeing any scorch marks or anything on it, which is good. Hi hey, yeah, well I've taken one little step of gluing the cross piece and now I have uh, something to keep the devil away I think but uh, no this is going to be uh, the brace for the wings these are set enough that I can put them onto the wings and that is the next stage we have both wings I'll do one side at a time and according to the instructions we stick them onto the top half of the wing and fold it down over the bottom I believe let's just double check that yes so this half folds over and overlaps with the bottom so let's do that well let's do the first stage of sticking these down now let me get this right as well I've got that orientated the correct way and I need a spike on this, uh, uh, a level on that side and it's literally saying that I should have the plastic this way which is what this one is, that's the plastic side and that's the foam side so it's saying that's got to go this way and this sticks is aligned on, on the fold to the end there basically so the end of this part end of this part with the the short wedge lines up with the cut goes along the fold to, to support it when it's folded over and that will help this bit come down this wedge here will help this bit come down to stick around here so it's gluing time this one should be cut this one i think i'm going to use uh, the contact way of fitting it so i'll put a little bit of glue down that center put this onto the uh, folding position wiggle it around and then I'm going to remove it and put that over there Oof. just putting things down is difficult and I'm going to do the same with this side while that's setting off I'll do the same. right let's put this in That's the wedge. That's the plastic, that's the wedge. Put that there. And lay it down. Give it a press. And because it's being that used as contact adhesive, it should stay there. And we'll do this one. There. Oop, nearly missed it. And press it down. Okay, I'm going to give that a little time to go off. Let's put a little bit of glue down here on this trailing edge on the bevel again try not to put too much a little bit of glue around there now I'm going to put a little bit of glue just a real smidge where it actually prints where it's going to expect it to be come to so I'm just going to put a little bit of glue down there as well again it's just the lightest of touch I don't really want this blobbing out heavily. Okay, that's one side. We'll do this side, same thing. Round on the bevel.
sticking these on and folding the wing over. Right, let's give it a go. So, oh God, I've done it now. And now I'm just going to take the time to bring that up there. You know what? It's blue tape time, I think, because I don't think that's going to hold otherwise. Let's put a bit of blue tape, it won't hurt. It will just set my mind at ease that, that it's in the right place. blue tape taken off and we've left with a couple of rather nice looking wings. It's still wanting to pop apart a little bit but it's solid, it's the right profile, they match each other which is always good. Next thing is to join them together with this. Now I've done a couple of test fits and basically make certain I get the right way up. Yep. It slots in here. Oops. Let's get the right way round Caroline. It slots in here. The white bit follows the trench. That's the raised bit until it goes all the way in. You can see it's not it's not all the way in yet. So this side of the depth pond goes underneath the wing supports the arch of the wing and this is a difficult bit getting it to go underneath the wing like that so it goes halfway and it ends up looking like that so put and I found that put if you've got that like that right and you try and push the other side in it pushes this all over the place so what I'm going to do is glue this side first because otherwise it's just not going to work. So where do I need glue? I need glue here. I need glue that's going to attach to this bit. And I probably don't need much. Oh, I need a bit of glue here, but no real glue there. Let's put some on. It's gluing time. So we'll put some here, which is where it's going into the root, going into the wing. And again, this, this is one where I'm not going to do it in a... I'm not going to do it as contact because I want to be able to slip it in and adjust it a little bit. But I am going to put some glue just here. Oh, that's difficult. Add some glue down this edge. This is all hidden by the fuselage, this inside bit, so it doesn't have to be super neat. But just like anything, you don't want to uh, add a ton of weight. So let's slide that in. I've got it the right way around, double check before I go. Slide that in. That goes underneath that area there. And halfway there. Still not gone all the way, so we just sort of flex it a little bit get underneath. Now the important thing is this is giving you a bit of the uh, dihedral going on here. So you really want that up a little bit there to make that fit. So it has to go, I don't know if you can see that. When that's down, that's up a little bit at that end. That's the correct fit in. Yeah. And you can see it's, it's even. Half, one half of this is under there. Good. I'm going to put a little bit of glue here just to help seal it down. And a little bit of glue here just to make sure this doesn't go anywhere. As I say, it's hidden underneath the wick, the middle piece, and there's a, a piece that goes over the top to hide all, all the gubbins. So I don't have to worry about it being 100% neat. 
what I'm going to do is I think I'll just put this little pack of batteries there to keep the angle and I'm going to tape that down while it sets and I'm not going to bore you showing the other side I'll, I'll just get it done and once they're joined together we'll come back on that forcing that dihedral that's probably more than you need but it will relax back I'd rather have a bit more than a bit less okay well it's that time the wing is stuck together and there's a sticker over the top just to help keep the uh, well, dihedral in place I couldn't think of the word there there's a bar down the middle and that integrates onto this this part here of the uh, just here and looking at it offering it up dry fitting it always dry fit your parts the back of the wing bumps up against that firewall which is curved over so you don't want the wing on that and the front of the wing sits just nicely level with the front of the first, fire, first uh, former there so it's time to glue it down and we'll have a plane that actually looks like a plane not quite right but close so we'll put some glue up here a little bit of glue along the sides here because I don't trust it glue in the centre section Trying to put it on the inside of that wall section there. Now I'm going to put some along the back wall of that. And there we go. I'm going to offer it up. Just move it into place a bit. I'm putting this underneath. So it's not going to squat. That's underneath the tail, so it doesn't squash the tail wheel because that's very flexible. That because it's just made of the uh, plastic. So I'll offer that up, press it down, take it off. Put some glue there, a bit of glue there. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue where it shows it. One of those one-shot things let's try and get in the center in fact I think I'll put the back first and then in the center at the front super that looks good and the shape of the body and the inner panels actually gives you the right dihedral which is excellent just makes that all easier now I think what I'm going to do is use these, use the weight of these uh, state uh, number two scalpels just to help hold that center, center section down. I want to concentrate the weight in the middle. Oh, it did hold. There you go. Right, okay. I'm not going to do much tonight, I've got other things on. But I am going to fit this top hatch. So what I've done here, in dry fitting, I found I can't stick both sides on in one go. It's just not possible to get it accurate. So what I'm doing is I've used blue tape just to hold this side down, the longest side, which gives me a position. And then I've got some tape here. So I'm going to put glue up here and around, well, glue on here and here and around this. And then I'm just going to put that, close that up, and let that set. And then hopefully I can get in under the other side, under the other side and stick that down. There should be enough give in the glue. Anyway, it, it just says in the instructions, glue it down. 
doesn't give you any real hints as to exactly how one's supposed to uh, succeed in that, but we'll give it a go. What can I do? I can only ruin it, can't I? So there's some glue there for that top bit over the wing. And that goes fairly flat over the wing. It's more this edge here. It's really a very thin join. And that's what worries me. There's no sort of tabs to hold it in position. It's just got to sit edge to edge. And that's really quite difficult. I won't put any glue on, on I won't put any glue on the cross bits here. Because I want to be able to obviously flap it up and I'll just put a teeny bit over the top of this just to help hold it down. And here's hoping this works. So, starting at the back, just going to try and join those that back up there. Try and match this piece as much as possible. Okay. It's really a case of I'm going to have to see after after the effect sort of thing. See how it works. Now that is a problem. That should be in the centre and it isn't. So I'm going to have to adjust that. Just pull that across. I suppose that's the arching over the top of the wing there that's causing that to go a little bit off centre. Well, let's see how that goes. The only way, the only way I'm going to know is once it's set, take this off and see what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Looks okay under there, so I'm, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. How about this back? That back looks okay as well. I'm just hopeful it's going to hold. I'm less hopeful about over the wing. <laughs> and what I might have to do is when I do the other side, I'm sure, pretty sure this side will curve up okay enough to get glue in. This bit, I might have to just rise up. In fact, I might have to do that after actually. It's not wanting to go. Or I might have to just prise it up a bit and use a cocktail stick or something just to get a little bit of glue underneath. It's not playing ball at the moment. I think to help that, down there just to hold that front down because it keeps wanting to pop up well here we go let's see if it's stuck at all I'm going to peel this side off let's hope it's uh, seems to sort have of stuck over the uh, over the wing acceptably how about this side Expect a little bit of glue to string out because obviously it's an edge to edge that's so going to squidge out a little bit. But that's fine, you can actually clean that up. The nice thing about this sort of uh, Yoohoo pour, oh, look, I've taken a bit of the print off there, that's all. I shall have to uh, make up some red and just touch that in. I'm going to have to do that here as well. There's a little bit of white there that's going to show up wise. But let's see how this is done. It's unusual, this blue, this blue tape doesn't normally... That edge is okay. Look, that's what seems to have worked okay. Right. So, that's one side done. As I said, I think I'm going to have to use a toothpick or I've got you to, I haven't got any toothpicks actually. I bet I can get some glue under there just to secure that side down. This, this will be fairly easy this edge, I can get the glue under there. So here's the rudder and here's the uh, 
Now it says leave one millimeter gap between them both. So just leave a tiny little gap. Like that. We're gonna leave just a small millimeter gap in between. I'm not very good at judging gaps. And then we're gonna use this sticker to stick over. So this is gonna to have to be placed quite accurately, otherwise it's gonna look weird. Hmm, I've got lines here. Ah, we've got the uh, join here, which is that bit there, so I'm gonna use that to align it. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's see if I can get this off without destroying it. I might have to use the blade just to, just to get under. These are so thin, these stickers. Let me put my glasses, my uh, magnifying glass on because I'm struggling to see this. Right. Gonna try and line this up best I can. I mean I'm sure they work very hard on trying to match up the colours, but it's not a perfect match. But you won't see that when it's flying. Now one millimetre gap. One millimeter gap. So. It's very difficult to judge exactly one millimeter. Well, it's not going to be exact. So that is our vertical stabilizer and rudder. Super.